The Jalama vehicle crossing between Israel and the West Bank was christened with much fanfare on November 10, 2009. The crossing, funded through a USAID grant, will help facilitate the transfer of people and goods from Israel's Gilboa region to the Palestinian city of Jenin. Among the speakers were Israeli Vice Prime Minister Silvan Shalom, Quartet Envoy Tony Blair, the U.S. Embassy's Deputy Chief of Mission Luis Moreno, USAID Deputy Mission Director for West Bank and Gaza Sherry Carlin, the Governor of Jenin, and other distinguished guests. I want to explain why this is so important. Because at one level, it's a very simple thing. Right? We're opening a vehicle crossing. In many parts of the world, this would be considered a very normal thing. We wouldn't have all the very distinguished people here to do it. But it's important because it symbolizes something bigger and something more critical for the whole of the process in which we're engaged. This vehicle crossing will allow people to come through from Israel into the Palestinian Authority. We hope in ever greater numbers. As that happens, the economy of Janine will prosper. As that happens, relations between the peoples will improve. As that happens too, as Danny was saying earlier, we hope that we can get the industrial park here built so that, so that that is going to provide thousands of jobs and greater commercial opportunities. And all of this has happened for a reason. It's happened firstly because there has been real and hard work done by the key people here. On behalf of USAID, we are very happy to attend today's celebration of the opening of the Jalame Vehicle Crossing Facility. Our Palestinian Integrated Trade Arrangement Project, also known as PETA, was launched in September 2005 to help improve the movement of goods into and out of the West Bank and Gaza. To date, almost $40 million has been invested in high-powered cargo scanners and facility upgrades at various Israeli commercial cargo crossings. In May of this year, USAID agreed to support physical upgrades that would permit the crossing to open. Through our PETA project, construction on the site began in July and was completed just four months later. Uh, since 2005, the US government has, as uh, Sherry mentioned, has provided $40 million in assistance to Israel to help ease the movement of the Palestinian people and goods in and out of Israel. We see now with the opening of this vehicle crossing a critical complement to other U.S. government projects and investments being made to improve security, rule of law, and economic development in Jenin and throughout the West Bank. We also believe that the opening of this crossing contributes to the ongoing peace process between Israel and the Palestinians. It brings the two sides closer together and provides opportunities for economic interaction. As I said, officially we began working this uh, project about 18 months ago, and there's been tremendous cooperation on all sides. Nowhere better exemplified between USAID and the Israeli uh, Crossing Points Authority. And I also need to say a special recognition to the efforts of the Palestinian Authority, especially security forces, who with the support of General Dayton and the US government have achieved remarkable success in improving security in Janine.